Here's a few hacks on how to quickly get reads on people. I use this a lot in poker, but I also use this in business, in my relationships. It helps me be able to quickly understand the type of person I'm dealing with. Is this a, per a good person? Is this a shady person? Is this an honest person? Is this um, a shy person? You can use these hacks in all parts of your life. I focus a little more on poker, but you can use this in, in all kinds of aspects. Here's a principle that my dad taught me. All these hacks are built off of this principle. What you talk about is what you think about. And what you think about is a reflection of who you are as a person. Therefore, if you can know what a person is thinking about or what they spend their, their thoughts on and where their thoughts dwell, you can know the character of a person, at least generally speaking. People are complicated. The question is, is how do you know what people are thinking? There's all kinds of strategies and hacks. The number one hack, you listen to what they talk about and you find them when they're talking in a, in a very authentic way. Like if they're talking and they're not having to spend a lot of time thinking, you can tell they're not being fake or they're talking like in their real person. You can listen to what they say, understand the motive of what they're talking about, try to see why they're talking about it, and, and listen to what they're saying and understand it. As you do, as you listen to what they talk about, you'll know what they're thinking about, and you can put a lot of clues together. You're gonna be able to quickly know what they value. Does this person value money? Does this person value people? Does this person value integrity? What do they value and what do they not care about? You'll hear a lot of clues. You do wanna be careful not to make huge assumptions, but you wanna gather a lot of intel, and then with that intel, you can make pretty good educated guesses. That's all we can really do at the end of the day. But you can take quite a bit of information and then be able to make those guesses with it. So that's hack number one. Hack number two, pay attention to people's body behavior and the patterns that they have. And then you combine this with what they talk about as well. You can really get to know someone's energy type with how they carry themselves. You want to be very careful to say, oh, he slumps his shoulders. He's a shy person or he's a depressed person. He's a sad person. Or, oh, she's really pretty and she walks with her head up. So she's, she's totally bitchy. She's totally snobby. Those aren't necessarily true. What you want to do though is you want to catch on to people's energy and their vibe and watch the pattern that they display. And then you'll get a vibe of confidence. Is this person confident? Is this person insecure? Or is this person, is their energy overcompensating? Or is it pretty balanced? Or is it hiding? You know, like you can tell a lot by that, that energy vibe. You, you pay attention to their movements. Are they tight? Are they tense? Are their eyes open all the time? Are they speaking fast? Are they speaking slow? Are their eyes relaxed? Can you see into their soul when you look into their eyes? Are their eyes very jittery or, or uh, flaky. The coolest thing about finding out how a person is, is all of these things stack. So you listen to what they talk about. What they talk about is going to be what they think about. Same thing with their body language and how, how they carry themselves. If you combine how they carry themselves with the words that they say, that's going to be very reflective of what they think about. And, and what they think about is going to really reveal the type of person that, that they might be. This is a very common thing, but you know, obviously look at just basic things like what they're wearing, how they groom themselves. That is so, superficial and, and like it's not nearly as important as these other things but it also is so important to look at if you can really listen to what they're saying and if you really get a vibe of their energy their mannerisms if you can get these two things then you combine what they're wearing how they wear it is it a name brand is this person wearing very expensive shoes do they match is this person well groomed does this person smell bad what's their hygiene like you get like a feel for their appearance and what they're wearing but that is pretty much secondary to these things these items however it's actually very informative if you can actually get gather some good intel on these first two items which is what they talk about and what their vibe is. Here's another hack. If you watch somebody in a pressured situation, so what you wanna do is watch people whenever they're in a situation that is urgent or energy levels are really high. If there's a fight about to break out, someone's yelling, or if there's like a very stressful situation, if there's people that are arguing or anything that's kind of stressful, watch how they act. Watch their mannerisms. Be careful before you put labels on it. Watch how people act under pressure in the fight or flight type of scenarios. and people's true colors start coming out. People's colors start coming out whenever things get real. And they don't have to be super intense. You know, like it could be in poker whenever there's a big hand going on and there's a lot of money going in the pot. That's some pressure. You watch how people act under pressure. When someone starts raising their voice at someone, watch how this person acts. Is their composure, are they frantic? Are they brittle? Are they easily wounded? Are they easily offended, you know, under these pressured situations? What I've learned is that whenever there's high pressure or crazy situations, instead of freaking out yourself, watch people and and observe and you will gather a lot of intel that will complement all these other things and you're going to be able to gather a lot of information about what these people think about and what they value and therefore find out the type of person that they are here's another hack speak a little less and pause and just look at people for example someone's like talking i might pause think for a second when you pause it creates a scenario and then you ask questions you don't interrogate i mean you can if you want but 
you just ask sincere questions or you ask intelligent questions to them. Like someone might be talking about their job or their family and they're like, you know, I just got home from work. My wife is like mad that I came here to play poker, da da da. And then I might say, well, hold on a second. I thought, I thought this was work for you. I thought poker is work. And so in that case, I'm like kind of making a joke. Like, you know, you're joking that he's a pro, but what I'm really doing is I'm asking a question or I'm making a suggestion and I'm giving him or her an opportunity to react to that thing. It's a form of not pressure, but it's forcing them to decide how they act. And whenever people make a decision, now you can actually take that information and, and put that in your noggin. So you can get a read on people by asking really good questions. Or you might say, I'm so glad that you're married. You're just like an ugly ass motherfucker. Like I never would have thought you would have, you'd be married. You know, I might say that to like one of my friends that I'm becoming friends with. And I want to see how he reacts a little bit to a, like a comment or um, a little bit of a, a jab. So it's not necessarily questions, but it's like you, you, you throw a little a jab or you might throw a comment or a question to see like, is this person easily offended? Or is this person, do they laugh about it? Do they think about it a lot? And whatever they do, it's gonna give you that kind of information to be able to build off of that. So if they decide to be this way, you're like, interesting, that's going to give me a lot of intel, so I'm gonna build off of what that is. And if they decide to go this way, maybe they're just laughing about it, like, interesting. Like, so if someone was laughing about it, if I made that comment, I might say, no, seriously though, man, like, how long how long have you been married for? Like, how's that been? Now they start talking about what's important to them. They start talking, and once again, talking is the best way to really start hearing what people think about, or to, to being able to understand what people think about. So, good questions, little jabs here. I'm very careful. I try really hard not to put people down or to just like disrespect people, but I do like to challenge people because when people get challenged, they're forced to a decision. And that's kind of the key is you gotta force people to a decision. You almost force them to commit. A lot of people like to be like politicians and they just sit back and it's hard to get a read on them because they never say yes or no and they just, they're always fluffy, right? When you kind of force them to commit or to make a decision, that's a lot of intel. The fact that they said no to this, but yes to this. These are just some simple hacks that I like to use. There's so many more, and I'll be sharing more of these thoughts in the future. I use it at the poker table. I use it in my business relationships. Here's just a few exa an example. I might like, when I'm meeting someone for the first time, I might shake their hand. I uh, shake it hard enough to where it forces them to a decision. Are they gonna try to overpower me? Are they gonna kind of like submit? Are they gonna match? Right off the bat, I'm kind of getting a vibe of this person. I might make eye contact. How does this person react to a little bit of confident eye contact? Or I might right off the bat say something like, yo, dude, I thought you were like this 400 pound Chinese guy and you're like a skinny little white boy. What a crazy like, um, you know, mind shift or uh, perspective shift or whatever. <laughs> like I might say something totally like stupid and goofy. It forces people to actually have to react to something. Sometimes making those moves and then observing a lot. Being very self-aware of what you put, put out there and, and portray. And then you're gonna be able to get these reads on people. I'm a big fan of not manipulating people, but I'm a huge fan of understanding people and playing the game of poker in life. Life is, in my opinion, just this huge poker game. I hope that these hacks can help you guys out. Let me know if you guys know of anything that also helps you guys acquire that data or information on people. Cheers.